Welcome to Math Porter, people. I'm Coach Anderson. What we're doing in this video now is we're going to be talking about why dividing with decimals really isn't that terrible. I'm going to show you a trick to use every single time that you're dividing by a decimal. That way you can get the correct answer, full stop, no questions asked. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this first problem here. We have 7 divided by 0.4. So here is the idea, my math party people. When you look at 7 divided by 0.4, another way to really look at it is going to be 7 divided by 0.4 as a fraction, right? I think we can agree. Yeah, it's definitely possible for sure. But here's the thing, my math party people. It's a little hard to see how to divide by decimals when it looks like this or like that up there. So here's what you want to do. The best way to divide by a decimal, and hear me out, the best way to divide by a decimal is to not divide by a decimal. And here's how you take care of that. So here's the thing. We have over here, we're dividing by 0 0.4. Another way to read that is 4 tenths, okay? If you've had practice before in understanding place value, you know place values like ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Then when you're looking at decimals, you have tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place, ten thousandths, and so forth. And so here's the thing. You're looking at this as four tenths. Tenths. How do you get rid of a decimal in the tenths place? Well, multiply by ten. And remember when it comes to fractions, whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. Let me show you this, my party people. Here you go. Look. Look at how straightforward this can be. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10. Remember, you got to do that. And eventually, once I show you this rule, you'll be like, oh, this is so easy because I'm going to show you the shortcut. I got to show you this first before I show you the shortcut. So my part of people, look, when I'm doing this, the reason I'm doing this is because when you multiply by 10, all you're doing is moving the decimal place over to the right one time. So this really becomes a division of four now. And then 7 times 10 up top, that's 70. So what this really is, my math party people, is 70 divided by 4. Instead of saying 7 divided by 0.4, which looks a little complicated, just turn it into 70 divided by 4. All you really did was you moved the decimal place over one time for each of the numbers. Whatever I did to the bottom, I did to the top. And since there's nothing there, just put a 0 and that'd be 70. And I'm going to show you more and more examples here in this video. So if this is confusing, don't worry. I got you. All you're doing is getting rid of the decimal by multiplying by a 10 or a 100 or a 1,000, however many decimals you need to get rid of that decimal in the denominator. That's it. So let's go ahead and get to work here. 70 divided by 4. So 4 goes into 70. And I'll put decimal places just in case here. But here we go. 4 goes into 7 one time. So that'll be minus 4 to get 3. Bring down the zero there, 4 into 30, that's 7 times. Because, hey, 4 times 7 is 28. Then you have 2. Bring that decimal back up top right there, line it up. Bring that zero down. 4 goes into 20 five times, and so your answer will be 17.5 because it's a clean division, and you're set. Just like that. Just like that. Like, seriously, just like that. So let me go ahead and show you another problem here. I'm going to show you plenty, plenty, plenty of examples in this video, my math party people. Um, this one doesn't count because anything divided by itself is going to be one. So we don't really need to do any work here. And don't freak out. Some of you may have looked at that like, ah, how do I do it? You have the same number divided by itself. That's one, no matter what. Let's go to number three here. 7.3 divided by 0 0.8. So what you can do, my math party people, is this. Basically, the straightforward way is, hey, look, it's 8 tenths, so multiply by a 10. But the easier way or the shortcut way, which pretty much plays off of that is, whatever you do to the top, do to the bottom. I'm going to move this decimal to the right one time, so I'll take that decimal and move it to the right one time. So basically what I'm saying is 7.3 divided by 0 0.8 is the same as 73 divided by 8. Move both the decimals at the top and the bottom to the right at the same time. And boom, keep doing that until you get rid of the decimal in the denominator and you're set. Let's be real, Maz, bad party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine, two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. 
So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. So this becomes 73 divided by eight. And now you can go ahead and put in the work. Now you can put in the work. So here, eight goes into zero or seven, zero times. Eight goes into 73, that's gonna be nine times. Cause seven or eight times nine is 72. Put that decimal where it belongs. Eight goes into 10 one time. You got two left here, bring that zero. You got eight goes into 20, how many times? That's gonna be two times. So from there, subtract the 16 to get four. Bring another zero in there. Eight goes into 45 times and you're set because 40 minus 40 is zero and you're good. So 9.125 is your answer and you're done. I'm gonna show you a few more examples here my math party people, I'm telling you, this is not that crazy, it is not that complicated. I got your back, man, I got you. So number four, we have 7.6 divided by 1.52. So this one might seem pretty complicated to us. This one might seem like, hey, I don't wanna do this. It's okay, I got you. Watch here. So what we have is again, 7.6 divided by 1.52. I do not wanna divide by a decimal, so what I will do is I will move the decimal to the right one, two times. And so up top in the numerator, I gotta do the same thing. Essentially, when I move it twice, I'm multiplying by 100 because that's 52 hundredths. So to get rid of the hundredths place, multiply by 100. One, two, that's what multiplying by 100 really is. And so do the same up top. One, two, put a zero right there because you know that there was a zero there. It was 7.60000 forever. So this turns into 760 divided by 152. This we can get behind, we can go ahead and try it out. Various techniques that we can use here, my math part of people, various techniques, but to keep it simple, I'll just go ahead and divide it straight up without using the mental math techniques. I'll save that for another video. Here we go. 152 going into 760, and I'll put some decimal places just in case. So 152 can't go into seven, can't go into 76, but it can go into 760. If you understand your mental math a little bit, you might understand that, hey, look, 152, well, if you multiply 150 or 15, multiply that by four, you get 60. Multiply by five, you get 75. So can you multiply this clean in this sense? Well, take a quick little guess. Could I multiply 152 by five? So this does take a little bit of mental math, but here, two times five is zero for 10. Five times five is 25, carry the 126. One times five is five, carry the two is seven. So we actually didn't even need to do that. We found that the answer is five. It's clean, it's straight up, and you're done. So let me go ahead and show you some more examples here where, well, this one's gonna be one. Anything divided by itself is one. Let's take care of another example here. So 4.1 divided by five. Do I need to do that decimal trick where I move things over here? No, not at all. You can straight up start right here. Five goes into 4.1 and you can put some zeros there. The reason I'm doing this is because my math party people Remember, the number you're dividing by can't be a decimal. It's gonna be way too complicated to look at the number you're dividing by. If it's not a decimal, start dividing, you're good. Five goes into four, zero times. Five goes into 41, eight times. Five goes into 10, twice. 0 0.82, there it is, and you're good. Next up, here we go, my math party people, we got this. Uh, three divided by four, I think we can agree that what we're doing here is going four into three. Four goes into three zero times, four goes into 37 times. Then four goes into 25 times straight up. And then we have 0 0.75. So that one was again, a little easier. I'm looking for problems where you're dividing by a decimal and you gotta make sure that you're not dividing by a decimal here. So here, 7.8 divided by 2.5. Again, what we can do is you can move those decimal places over at the same time. So what I'm saying is move that over to the right once and there to the right once. So you can make the number in the denominator, not a decimal. So really what you're looking at is 78 divided by 25. So let's go ahead and get to work here and let's get it done. 
25 goes into 78, put some decimal places just in case, and here we go. 25 goes into seven, zero. 25 goes into 78 three times. Three times 25 is 75. So you have three left over. Put that decimal place where it belongs. 25 goes into 30 one time. Subtract that 25, you got five left over. Bring down that zero, 25 goes into 50 two times, and that's clean, and you are done. That's it, and you're good. Again, really the only rule that we have to really consider is hey, we don't want to divide by a decimal, that is it. So if you're looking at 8.4 divided by 0 0.2, again, I don't want to divide by a decimal, so this right here, move it away. Multiply by 10, or just move the decimal place over. And you gotta do the same thing over here. Just do the same thing the same number of times, and what you're looking at is 84 divided by two. And we can actually do that in our heads. 84 divided by two, that's 42. That's 42, that's D, and we're set. We're feeling pretty good about that one too. Here we go, my math party people. Let's go ahead and do another one. Do you need to perform the trick here? Absolutely not. You can seriously just go ahead and do 10 divided into 0 0.1 and keep putting those zeros there. 10 goes into zero, zero times. 10 goes into one, zero times. 10 goes into 10 once. So 0 0.01 and you're done. Again, if you are not dividing by a decimal, you don't need to use that trick. When you are dividing by a decimal, so like over here, 3.9 divided by 2.6. Hey, I don't want a decimal place there. So I'll move each of them over to turn this into 39 divided by 26 and then perform your math just like that. And really quick, before we continue my math part of people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more, but mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So 26 goes into 39 and then use a decimal place just in, just in case. 26 into 39 is one time. So you have 13, bring in that zero. And me knowing my mental math, I know that 26 times five is 130. So here, that would end up being 1.5 and we are done. One last example and we'll call it a day. So let's go ahead and check out, let's go ahead and say, let me see if there's one a little more complicated. I mean here, like, yeah, when we're dividing by 0 0.1, I think this is a very good example to do. Because when you're dividing by 0 0.1, really what you're doing is saying, hey, look, this is the same thing as saying 56 divided by one. If you move those decimal places over to the right one time each, top and bottom, 56 divided by one, 56, and you're done. And you're done. So let's go ahead and take our one more here, my party people, one more. Let's find one more here. Let's do this one. 3.992 divided by 0 0.4. So let me show you here, my math party people, that look, when you're dividing by a decimal, you don't want to. You don't want to. Move that decimal place over for that divisor, the number that you're dividing by, over one time. And once you do that, just make up for it over here, one time. So this becomes 39.92 divided by four. That's what that turns into. This is easier to see, get after it, and you are done. 39.92. Three or four goes into three zero times. Four goes into 39 nine times. Subtract 36 to get three. Four goes into 39 nine times. Subtract the 36 again. Then bring down the two. Four goes into 32 eight times. So you have 9.98. That's a clean 9.98. And you are done. And so my math party people again. At the end of the day, I really hope that you're seeing that, look, with every single thing that you're learning in math, there's a rule, there's a procedure, there's something you can follow to give yourself the best chance to succeed. And that's all I'm here to provide you with. 
Now your turn, you're gonna go ahead and practice with the worksheets coming up next, as well as the speed drills that we have lined up for you in the course. And again, if you're not in the course and you're watching this somewhere else other than our website, then you gotta make sure you sign up. There's a link somewhere here. Make sure to take advantage of it because at the end of the day, your success is what matters most. So again, I'm Coach Anderson. I'll see you in the next video. Keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing, and build up that confidence because decimals, they don't stand a chance anymore. I'll see you in the next video. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.